In this video from Site Tech Intermountain, I'm going to show you how to do a custom file import to Earthworks straight through the TD520 screen inside the machines. If you have a scenario where you have what's called an SVL and an SVD and just the CAL file, those files would have been traditionally used for the GCS 900 series. Those files do not work straight to Earthworks. You need to have what's called a DSZ which is both of those files, the SVL, SVD, basically zipped together. Most processes are using an external process to convert those. So straight from your Earthworks screen, you can go ahead and throw in the thumb drive, put it in here. Now, traditionally, we do import files to machine from USB if we're doing a project library. In this scenario, I'm going to drop that drop-down bar and do a custom file import to machine. Now, right here, I don't have the projects already that I want to. If you hit the drop-down, you'll see there's Site Tech Wheeler training site that's already on there, and I'm going to use the same files, and there's test. But I'm going to add a new one. So I'm going to add new project, and I'm going to hit next. In here, I can name it what I need to. So we'll call this the Site Tech Southwest Lot. And we'll call it converted, just so we can keep it separate from the other one I have on there. Once it's named, you can go ahead and hit save. Now that that project is saved, the device is asking us to go find the files that we want to actually transfer and convert. So I have a project library on here, but let's say I have machine control data, which is the folder type for the old GCS 900. If I click on that, I do have to manually go and actually find these. I'm going to go into my all folder, and I have different projects in here. I have proposed utilities, I have a finish grade, and I have Southwest finish grade 323. So let's say I want to bring in this uh, Site Tech Wheeler uh, lot down here. You can go and click on that and go in and see that there's the CAL file, CFG, SVD, SVL. We can come back one more and go, whoops, went all the way back. We'll go back into this one and see I've got Site Tech Southwest finished grade. So what you want to do is you want to touch and highlight SVD or L, SVD, doesn't matter what order, and you don't need the CFG, the .config file. You just need the .cal file. So those three files right there, you come up here and hit open. Once you hit open, now you can come down and see that it's got everything inside of here. We've got the name of the project that I named, Site Tech Southwest Converted Lot, design files, so I've got this SVL, and I've got the SVD and the CAL file. And it's converting those two into a .dsc for me. So once everything is here, the screen basically converts it to the .dsc for me. We'll go ahead and hit import. It'll import those in. We can hit OK. Now when we go to the job setup, you can hit the projects and see that I've got Site Tech Southwest lot converted. We'll go ahead and touch that. We'll leave it on design. We'll drop the drop down bar for the design and you can see the one design that we brought in. We'll hit apply. Once everything's good and it's yellow down here, we'll go ahead and start it. And now you can see that I converted GCS 900 file type as fast as you could see it there to a .dsz. Now if I want to bring in those utilities, what I can do at this point, file transfer. In file transfer, it brings me right back to that same spot. I'm going to do another custom file import to machine like we did before. But this time I'm going to hit the drop down bar. And I'm going to go to the one that I've already created, Site Tech Southwest Lot Converted. Hit Next. We'll hit my thumb drive. Project machine Control Data, All Folder. And the one here for Southwest Proposed Utilities. I'm going to open that, and I'm going to bring in the SVL. And I don't really need the CAL file because the CAL file was already brought in before. So I'm going to just select that, hit Open. And it's going to bring that in. The SVL, because it's utilities, it's 3D, 3D line work, and it's going to bring it in and make a DSZ. So I'm going to import that. Everything's good. 
Now I can change that design. There's two ways to do it. You can either touch and hold up here where it says the project, or you can do the shovel with the gear. Come to the job setup right here. And now I'm gonna go down to my designs and you can see where I've got Site Tech Southwest Proposed Utilities. I'm gonna load that one. And now as you zoom out, you'll see that I've got all my 3D line work that came in and I converted it from, once again, machine control data folder type right here from the screen. No transferring on the computer if you don't have that. Or you have a scenario where out here you have older equipment that's running GCS 900. It shows up, uh, an Earthworks machine shows up and you need to convert those without having the office do it. You can transfer it from a thumb drive from that GCS 900 machine, the CB460, onto the thumb drive and bring it over and custom file import it in. Thank you for watching this video on custom file imports.